Hey, you are welcome to this video. In this video, we'll be creating our levels. What is the importance of levels? Level defines your building. It defines the height of your building. You know, we have different types of building. We have a bungalow. We have duplex. We have high rising. Whatever building you are building, you need to define the height. And it is the levels that we use in defining the height of your building so that you organize it in a way that your model will work fine. And that has to be done from the beginning. Because if you don't do it at the beginning of your model, after you have model and you want to start creating level your model is going to scatter because most of these model parts like the wall and other things are controlled by the levels and in creating level there are two places you can create your level you, are, you can create your level on elevation if i go to south you see this this is level this is the default this is the one that comes with rabbit but apart from this i can create another one so if i want to create another one this is level two level one let's say i want to create level three all i need to go is do all i need to do is go to architecture tab and you will see level on the top right corner here you simply select it okay let's save our our work we have not saved it for a while now okay now that i've saved it so i can now create a level now i will simply click and move it to a certain distance and click again if I want to click, click create another one, I will simply bring my cursor wherever I want to start from. But I prefer starting it from here. Then I click once and move my mouse to the right and come to where I want to drop it. You can see as I come here, you see a thin dashed line. It is telling you that this place is aligned with the previous one. And that is what we want so that our work will be organized i'll click ok you can now see that i've created additional two levels okay but we do not have idea of what these levels are about yet see this is level one and this one is zero this one is 3.048 from the ground this one is six point something something now we want to define this dimension now we want to define this level because from school we know that the headroom of a normal building should not be less than three meters although in some local buildings you have a uh, 2.8 2.7 2 but whatever you are designing you have to define the the height of your building here and that is where i'm going to start defining the height of my building first i want to define the height of my floor my my ground floor you know the ground floor is not starting from the natural ground it is a little bit higher from the natural ground so i'm going to use this one to define my my ground floor level the height from the natural ground level now i want to assume that this level one is on a natural ground level so that this level two is going to be part of uh, my ground floor level so what i'm going to do now is i will simply add dimension here to add dimension you go to modify tab and you see dimension here the dimension i normally use is 
this align dimension that is the one I always like to use and when you pick dimension you'll see that this is not the one we created before in the properties I want to use the one we have just created before where is the one we created we created a dimension which is it here room dime that is the one we edited before and that is the one I'll be using so I'm going to add dimension to all this okay now that I've added dimension if you look at my custom now you see that you can see the symbol of a dimension there it means that command is still active so I need to exit out of this command to exit out of this command I will simply click on this arrow you are seeing on the top left hand side here and the moment you click on it that dimension sign is gone the use of this is to make you exit from any command you are on after finishing a command and you do not click on this modify that command will still be on so that is why we have to click on this modify okay now that we are gone out of that command now let's see what else we can do with it now we want to bring this level 2 down so that we use it to form our floor let me bring it down so i will bring it down to something like 450 i will press okay so this 450 is the surface of my oversized concrete because the ground the ground floor has an oversized concrete it has german floor so this level 2 is the under of the german floor okay i hope that is gotten then i'm going to bring down this level 3 and the moment i select that level 3 you see that this dimension is highlighted it means that you can edit it the moment you select it the dimension will be highlighted you can now edit it so i will edit this one to be 150 and that is the thickness of my oversight concrete okay you can see how i am organizing my levels and it is going to help me as i go on with my modeling then this is the level four now this level four is going to define our headroom the headroom of the ground floor so i'm going to select it and type 3600 You know, in school, we are taught to use 3 meters. But after some experience, we discover that if you use 3 meters, you will not be able to work on POP conveniently. And that is why we started using 3.6. So if you use 3.6, you will not have enough allowance to work with your POP. So the headroom i normally use is 3.6 and i will also encourage you to use that so that it will help your clients so that when they are trying to design the pop they won't have problem by the time you use three meter and they want to work on the pop you see that the height the height of the pop will be too close and it will look fine okay so I now have my headroom then it means I need one more level to create one more level I will go back to my texture tab and select level and simply create as I used to create before let me create plenty now because I still have more level to use 
let me create multiple if there is any one I'm not going to be using I will delete it and you'll notice something the moment I create level you see something is added, added here the moment you create a level the floor plan for that level is automatically created that is interesting right okay now we are going to be modifying these levels now let me okay there's something i want to do here now i already have this dimension here and uh, there's no point for me to go and pick another dimension what i will simply do is I will simply select this one that is existing already and continue. So the way I will continue it is simply select it and click edit witness line and you will now add more, you extend it, you add more to it, add more, okay. Now we can, I can bring this one down so that this one would define the thickness of my first floor slab which is 150 150 mm this is what is defining my first floor slab okay then this one is going to define my first floor ceiling and i'm going to take it to 3600 all right then this one is going to define the height of my roof and in some cases whether you define it or not it doesn't make much difference so but for the sake of uniformity let me define it let's say my height the height of my roof is let's say i can use two meter especially for this design that we are working on okay so we no longer need this I'm going to delete this one now because we don't need it anymore and I'll click OK and the moment I delete it you see it is what's deleted from here okay so that is our level and we are set to go we are set to go okay now you see that the wall is above the level and that is not what we want now we'll be using it to organize our work now if i select all the walls you see the way i select now i select from the left the reason i select from the left is that i don't want to select the levels but if I select from the right, whatever my selection box touches, you can see that the levels are selected. And that is not what I want. I want to select only the wall. And now I am going to take the height. If you come to the properties, you see that the base constraint is on level 1, which is okay. We are okay with that because our level 1 is the natural ground level then this is where we are going to set the top the top level where you want the wall to stop at the up upper upper end of it so i'm going to click on this uh, arrow on this drop down there's a, a little drop down here and here you are going to define where you want the wall to stop now sometimes this wall, these numbers might be confusing you may not actually know which one is first floor which one is this so because of that i want us to modify some things here and the first thing we'll do is we want to rename them so that we will know the the floor we are in we are working with so first if you look at this you see that level three is our ground floor Abi, okay, level 3 is our ground floor. So I will simply come to, under the floor plans, I will select level 3 and right click, then I will rename it 
to ground floor. Ground floor plan. I'll click OK. And it will ask me, would you like to rename the corresponding level and views? Click yes. Bam. You can see it has renamed that level. Then the next level that I want to rename is, you see this level, this one, this one that is on top of this uh, first floor is our first floor. And that is level 5. So I'm going to go to level 5 and rename it. You right click rename to first floor first floor plan and you click ok would you like to rename corresponding level and views click yes ok now we have renamed the most important ones and that is the most important one we need ok let me name rename level 6 which is our ceiling I will select it and you know what you can also rename it here if you select and double click on this you see you can actually rename it here here I'm going to name it as ceiling level and click empty space and it will ask you the same question click yes and here we go our level is now renamed properly then the next thing is to make sure our world hit the appropriate top level so i will select all the walls and take the top to where am i going to take it to i'm going to take it to level four for now you know the level four is under the first floor you can see how the wall has jumped down so here is how your level can control your wall and the heights of your building and i hope you understand this video thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video bye let me save my work